Gridlock in Washington has scuttled another bid to try to reduce the country's massive deficit. A super committee set up to find cuts of more than a trillion dollars has failed, with Democrats and Republicans blaming each other. Washington correspondent Lisa Miller reports. With the deadline just hours away, they scrambled on Capitol Hill to find something resembling agreement. Are you closer to the but last-ditch negotiations couldn't prevent the inevitable. No. Senator Powell, Senator, we should offer... Has the Super Committee failed? Did you guys fail? Has the Super Committee failed? The Super Committee released a statement admitting it had failed to cut the $1.2 trillion needed to rein in the spiralling deficit. Both sides are feeling angst. Democrats demanded higher taxes on the wealthy in exchange for any spending cuts. Republicans ruled that out. There was no escaping the ideological divide that's caused gridlock in Congress for months. There are still too many Republicans in Congress who have refused to listen to the voices of reason and compromise that are coming from outside of Washington. The committee's failure will trigger deep and onerous cuts to welfare and defence budgets, something both sides wanted to avoid. But the president says that was the deal if they couldn't agree and he'll veto any bid to undo them. There will be no easy off-ramps on this one. We need to keep the pressure up to compromise, not turn off the pressure. The White House has been quick to reassure Americans this is not the same dire situation they faced earlier this year when the country almost defaulted on its debt and its credit rating was downgraded. But with the national debt now topping $15 trillion, the outlook is grim. The markets had already anticipated failure, but stocks still tumbled. At what point do you guys call it a day? The effect of another impasse in Washington. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Washington.